In this video, we're going to look at tasks a little further. This time, we're going to take a customer. So let's open up a customer, Ron. And what we're going to do is we're going to create a task specific for this customer for a specific invoice. So for example, let's say we're looking at this customer and the customer is complaining about an invoice. So we open up the invoice and you'll notice on the invoice now, and you'll find this throughout the application is a new task button. So we'll go ahead and we'll click on the task. From here, we could create a new task. And you notice this is for this specific invoice. So the reference automatically links it to that invoice because it was created from there. So here we'll put in here a little bit of a note and here the customer wants a credit for this. But I want to assign this to Fred so he can take a look at it and let me know if the customer should get a reference. I'll set a follow up date. I can even change the status to in progress and because this is such an important customer, we'll set it to a high priority. And I could put a little description in here of why the customer wants a credit. Now, for this one, we can also add a tag, which we'll do, and we'll put in here that it's an invoice dispute. But as the person who took care of this, I'm going to make this a loopback. Now, what a loopback means is I'm the only one who can close this. So nobody else can close this task. It has to come back to me to actually close it. So now we've created the task. And you notice there's the task list just for that one invoice. If we go back to the customer and we click on the task from within the customer, you'll notice it would show any of the open tasks that are for that customer. So instead of showing all the tasks, just the ones for that customer for whatever they might be. But if we look at our full task list, here I can see every task that we have. Um, and there's the task that we just created. If I open the task, there I can see it. Now let's say that I was Fred and I was looking at this task. I can then um, change the status once I know what we did with it. But you'll notice in my pull down, my ability to close it is automatically masked where I can't do that because this is set to a loopback task, meaning only Michael can close it. So let's say I decide I want to give him a task, I'll reassign it, I'll put it to a, re a review status, and then I'll go ahead and I'll enter in any note. So this will put it back into Michael's queue, and I put my note in here that it's okay that we should give them a credit, and we'll click OK, we'll click Save, and now it's back in my task list. And now that same task is now assigned to Michael. And because we reassigned it to him, Michael automatically got an email letting him know that. Now here we can also put in tags. On the top search box, by adding that tags, it will only give us the tasks that meet the conditions and have that tag assigned to them. So it's a neat way to go ahead and search um, by your um, tag list. So now, as Michael, I could come into the customer just by doing a one-click. I would process the credit. We'll skip that for right now. Um, and then what we would do is we would go back to our tasks and then I could put a note in here that I credit created the credit so that that's all taken care of and it updates the task with the proper notes. At this point, I can now change the status to a completed status. And this will actually now close this task. So you'll notice in my task list, that task is no longer there. Now, if we click and um, there's the, the, the tags and do that, but let's go ahead and click on the resolved. The resolved will give us a list of all the completed tasks. So if you unclick that, then you would see all of your active tasks. And there you go. There's some more on task management and please watch the next video is we'll dive a little bit deeper into the task management system.